I'm Kyle Krajewski, and you're watching At Chat State. Today we're talking about violence in the media. Do you guys think that the media is too violent? Not in the least bit. No, not at all. Not particularly. I think that they uh, label it when it's violent, and people who are adults should be able to watch it if they want to. Yeah, but they don't label the news. No, but I, I kind of know that. Not much more violent than that. Which form of media do you think is too violent? I think the news uh, promotes more violence than positive things. That's, you know, everything else is usually structured where if you're an adult or not adult, it gives you an option to watch it or not. But I think the news promotes more violence and then broadcasts it more and they should uh, positive things. If it violent. bleeds, it leads. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Uh, do you think there's an effect on people from observing this violent in the media? Or hasn't it kind of always been in the media? Media has always kind of been a little violent. I believe that children may not be able to uh, differentiate between cartoon violence or violence in a movie as well as an adult, but as, an, as a media technology person and um, as an adult, I occasionally enjoy a good violent movie, but I, I look at it, okay, how did they make that blood gush? <laughs> and, uh, but I do censor my granddaughter quite a bit. How do you think we can limit like the effect on people that violence has in media? I don't think you're gonna limit much of anything. I mean, human beings are violent in and of themselves by default, so anything you do is just, really it's just, uh, you know, you're just, not really accomplishing anything. It's just something to pass a law or to somehow get some sort of revenue generated from who knows what. Uh, ask you guys if anyone has any uh, thoughts on violence in the media. I think uh, um, I think that whether it be news, video games, what, whatever, it's all like he said. It's sensationalist. It's it's the views. You know, if it bleeds, it leads. Uh, there's all kinds of things you can say to get attention. I think it rolls back to the professionalism of whoever's producing the video game, the news, those people have to control it. Not everybody throws in the blood and gore to uh, get the views. It's, it's all a matter of professionalism. And do any of you feel like the violence is affecting young children more than grown adults or anything? I, I feel that um, it does affect younger children because they don't realize that this is not real and so a lot of times younger kids do mimic what they see on the TV or what they reenact in the video game and that can be very dangerous because if you take a poll they're probably the ones that end up doing more violence because their parents don't tell them they shouldn't do that don't beat up your stuffed animals does anyone else have any thoughts on violence video games movies anything I feel like a lot of times uh, uh, parents especially want to blame the companies who do make the video mm -hmm. games or the TV shows or whatever. But um, the thing that's important to realize is they do have warnings labels saying this is what's in here. You know, it's like there's no mystery as to what is on there. So really the blame goes to the parents. You know, they, you know if they don't want their kids playing these games they should have or watching television like that then they should have greater control over it so I really don't blame or I really don't think the company should be you know the scapegoats here all right any other views or thoughts facts and opinions I'm Kyle Krajewski and thank you for watching at chat state